Good morning, everyone. This is Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery. And I have just finished teaching a color theory class. And I thought it might be helpful to uh, my students and my YouTube followers to uh, break down my favorite yellows, reds, oranges, and um, violets, blues, greens, turquoises, and neutrals. And I have broken them down into four categories, a warm, a cool, a dark, and an earth color. This is how Jane Blundell does it. Um, if, you've not, if you're not familiar with her, she has an incredible blog where she shares uh, tons of information about the, the different pigments and brands. I really suggest you check her out. Um, she's an Australian watercolorist and you'll find her blog at janeblundell.com. There's so many choices. It's really hard to decide uh, what you absolutely need on your palette and what, you know, is just a luxury color. And I have a lot of both. So anyway, um, long story short, my favorite, I've broken down my yellows and um, my favorite cool yellow is uh, PY3. It's lemon yellow, or it's in some brands, it's Hansa Yellow Light. In Sennelier, which is my favorite, current favorite, it's called Lemon Yellow. Uh, da Vinci has one. Lots and lots of brands make uh, a Hansa Yellow Light or a uh, Lemon Yellow, but that's my favorite cool yellow. I also really like Naples yellow, but it's a, it's a specialty yellow that uh, I tend to use a lot. My favorite warm yellow. Let me hold it this way. My favorite warm yellow has to be, and I've thought a lot, I change periodically on this, but it's currently um, Nickel Azo. Nickel Azo is PY150, and it is a grainier warm yellow. As you can see here, my favorite is by Core or M. Graham. Here's M. Graham's Nickel Azo. You can see M. Graham's a little bit um, gra even grainier than the Core. Winsor Newton makes a nice PY150 called Transparent Yellow. I also I, I go back uh, I go back and forth between the nickel azos and the gamboges. Nickel azos have nickel in them, so that's a little bit of a health concern, not, not much. So sometimes I use the gamboges instead for my classes. This is Winsor Newton's uh, new gamboge, which is you can see it's close, but it's just a little bit more on the uh, yellow or golder side. And the reason I love the nickel azos is they make absolutely gorgeous greens. So that's my favorite warm yellow. My favorite dark yellow is Indian yellow. I, I just absolutely love this color. It's PY 110, and this particular Indian yellow is by M. Graham. My Mary Blue makes a lovely permanent yellow deep, which is also really lovely. And my favorite earth yellow, um, earth, earth yellows, uh, they have to be in the PY 42 range for me. I do not like yellow ochre. By anyone I just it's just a color I don't care for mostly because of the opacity of it my current favorite PY 42 is gold ochre by Winsor Newton uh, mostly because of the beautiful not only is it a beautiful hue but it's so transparent and most PY 42s are um, like I said more on the opaque side so that's my take on my favorite yellows. Uh, my favorite warm orange currently is made by Core, and that would be PO71, Transparent Pyrrole Orange, which is an absolutely stunning, stunning color. It mixes beautifully with other colors, and um, it's actually part of their high chroma set, which I highly recommend. It's just a beautiful, beautiful um, 
orange. And I don't tend to use a lot of oranges, but I do tend to use this one. My favorite um, cool orange, if you can have a cool orange, and remember that when you talk about color, temperature, everything is relative. So my favorite orange that's a cooler orange is made by Sonoye. It's called Chinese orange. It's almost an earthy orange. It's very soft. It's just a, it, it does have three pigments, but it is a lovely, lovely orange. My favorite dark orange is PO48. This is an incredibly mixing, a wonderfully mixing color. It just mixes beautifully. Um, it's rich and vibrant. In M. Graham, it's called Quinacridone Rust. Core calls theirs Quin Gold Deep. Daniel Smith calls theirs Quin Burnt Orange. My favorite current um, PO48 is the Core, just for its transparency and it's, just, it's luminous. It's just an absolutely beautiful mixing color. And my favorite, if I had to pick an earth orange, which these would really be an earthier orange, but I chose to put burnt sienna in that category because I think everyone needs a burnt sienna. I like PR101 and a lot of people like the, the PBR7 better, but I prefer the, the Da Vinci burnt sienna deep because it's just, it's my favorite and I've tried a lot of burnt siennas. That one is currently my favorite. So there you have it with the oranges. If you'd like to see uh, the rest of this series, please uh, hit the subscribe button. If you click on the little bell icon, it will notify you when I have posted more videos. And if you care to, follow us on Patreon. We're also on Instagram and Facebook. It's Southern Art Gallery. And thank you for watching this video.